In this time of the pandemic, we are all made more aware of how we have a solidarity with the whole human family. We've definitely seen an increase in the requests coming into our programs as a result of COVID-19. In our food program, we've had more than 150% increase in the number of people seeking food assistance. In our emergency assistance program, which provides emergency rent and utility assistance, we've had more than a 280% increase in the number of households that have called saying, I can't pay my bills and I'm scared what's gonna happen next. And all of our food drives just kind of came to a stop because we had to figure out how we were gonna do it safely. Everybody was staying home, nobody was going to work. Nobody was really going out to do anything. We had to continue serving and had to figure out a way to do it without meeting people face to face. We recognized we still needed to serve our clients and more stress was coming. Catholic Charities didn't say, well, in light of how everything has changed, we just can't do it anymore. No, they said the opposite. This is a challenge. How can we do this? One of the things we've done is to move a lot of services online, like our Mother Mercy free medical clinics. Counseling has gone online. The counselors were able to research all the best practices for teletherapy and launch entirely into a virtual platform. We've adapted by going to drive-by food drives where you can just pop your trunk open and a volunteer will take your food out of your trunk without any contact. We have a regular system where through the generosity of the diocese and Catholic charities and benefactors, people can come up and receive food or household supplies or some other kind of aid. What Catholic Charities did was act as that bridge for us. The distribution, the services, the funds that they've offered us really helped us to meet the emergency needs of our community members and our parishioners. 